Welcome to Go Mustang Sports Season Previews, and we're talking women's volleyball. I'm Dave McHugh, joined by head coach Dave Trumbo. And coach, it, it, it goes without saying almost, that last year, incredibly successful, uh, very close to getting to the championship weekend at Hope, falling just short in, uh, in the round of 16. That's the kind of season, though, I know you guys were looking for, and I know you're looking forward to building on. Yeah, they, this, that was our third consecutive year going to the NCAA tournament. And each year, we've taken one step farther. You know, and to be get to the Elite 16 last year, beating number eight in the country, Juniata, on their court, yeah. and shocking the heck out of that Juniata in a thrilling crowd. Match. And it was just, it was a five set, a five setter, 12-11. Yeah. We're down. Yeah. We scored the last four points. It was fun. And uh, yeah, it's probably the most fun I've had in 20 years coaching. So now you build off of that, but any good team is going to have some good players who exit here in college, and you do lose some, some good players, but you also keep a really good core unit as well. What are you looking forward to with this team and, and what you see heading out of preseason now? Well, our schedule is definitely tougher. In our minds as coaches, we believe that we have to get to the point at conference playoff times that we believe we can win that conference championship. We are going to be so much better in October than and we are in August. And for us to be in the mindset that we're ready to win our third consecutive MAC title, that's what we're looking for. You're speaking of a third consecutive MAC title, you've lost two sets in the conference, period. Coaches think you'll be number one again. The expectations are high for your program. Um, does that maybe add a little bit of pressure going into a season when you have lost some key players? Or is it kind of like, yeah, that's right. We're Stevenson. We're that good. It's more the latter. <laughs> uh, the, the, we have uh, two seniors, two juniors, six sophomores and seven freshmen. Yeah. So we're pretty young, but the freshmen come in with the expectation. We didn't have to teach them how hard you have to compete at this level to win. They can, came in competing. That's the kind of kid that I like to recruit. It's Division three. You don't get them all. Yeah. They don't sign anything no, sure. to get here. Right. But, you know, we got some great kids coming in. So they are, are, we're actually probably a better team from bottom up. But those key players that we lost, you know, when you lose two All-Americans, yeah. you're a top hitter plus a senior that was in your receive and put the ball down in the NCAA tournament for your final point, and none of them are back. Some other kids are going to have to step up this year, along with who we have already from last year. Well, that's another topic of this team. Is, is As much as success as you had last year, as much as the expectations are there, you are kind of a team that's going to be looking to fill some important roles. You bring in a lot of freshmen, as you point out. You've got that sophomore uh, class that has certainly gained experience itself. Have you found those holes filled yet? Are you guys still in the process of finding that breakout star, maybe? Well, we have you know, Sammy Perillo, our libero, and the team is kind of built around her great serve receive and her passing. Two-time all, honorable mention All-American. Uh, and then we have Meg Miller back, who, you know, all conference two years in a row, all region, just a fantastic middle. But then we've got to fill some spots, and one of them was, is at setter. And uh, Sarah Bollinger was on the team last year. She's looked great. She's looked much better than she did in the spring. She's relaxed. She's ready to go. Uh, so we really feel very encouraged by the way she's played. Uh, along with Corinne Schemler, who, who is really competing. Do we run a 6-2? Do we run a 5-1 with Sarah? Mm -hmm. The problem is Sarah's only 5'3". Well, Corinne's <laughs> only 5'4". Sure. So are we going to have our center front row? That's a question to be answered. And then who's going to fill out those right side and outside spots? Yeah. We have a couple of really good freshmen uh, who I feel like they are used to the speed and the level in college already, but they're just freshmen. They're 18 year olders, so they're going to make their mistakes. They're going to what are they going to do at 23, 23? That's the real <laughs> question. How do they adjust to the different game? Yeah, the, much the, success they right, have. Right, the pressure and okay, who are we going to? Who who are we yeah. going to go to on game point here? Because some of those kids are definitely gone. Another key to the season is you look at the schedule. First off, you host four try matches. Uh, at home this year, taking advantage of the football mm -hmm. schedule, as we joked. Um, but more importantly, you have a lot of really good competition this year. It seems to me, uh, looking on the outside, you guys have gone after the good teams to play, but the good teams are willing to take you guys on now, too. It seems there's a bit of a mutual respect. 
Uh, that is very true. Well, right now we are others getting votes. So yeah, end of right. the season, <laughs> rank number 19. The ABCA understood that we lost a lot of players. Right, exactly. So they dropped us from 19 at the end of the season to 26 now. Uh, and that's very realistic. Yeah, sure. And, you know, and to tell you the truth, teams that are below the top 25, they really want to play us, so it's a little bit easier to get those teams sure. to play us. And, of course, now that you know the last two years, we've been one of the top teams on the East Coast. So Eastern and Juniata are on our schedule this year, 14 and 15. In fact, we play them back-to-back. -back. <laughs> Great schedule, well, yeah, Coach. Yeah, <laughs> and along with Carnegie Mellon, who, right. who's a very good team. And then th we start off this weekend against uh, Boston UMass, uh, who's number 22 right now. Susquehanna is not getting any votes. I can't figure out why, because mm. they barely missed getting that at-large bid last right. year. They didn't lose a player. Not That's once. That's scary. They added a setter, and from what I understand, she could be come in as a freshman and start, so she must be pretty good. Yeah. Haverford, we're playing them that first weekend. They haven't lost a player. They've got everybody back. In fact, they've been in Puerto Rico playing, so <laughs> oh, that's great. They've been playing for a month, <laughs> and they're, they're getting them the first weekend. Exactly. So, tough schedule. Uh, mentally, we're going to have to be tough. I kind of say this to them every year. We're never going to do what we did the year before. <laughs> you know. And then here we go. We're 37 and three. Right. So we're not going to do what we did the year before. We're not going to only lose three sets all, or three matches all year. It's going to be a, pro a process. We're going to have a lot more three to two matches and three sure. zero matches. I think it's going to be a fight because we our defense is phenomenal. We can't put our put the ball down against ourselves. That's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, is, I kept saying, are you guys cooperating with each other? Because we, when we warm up, we cooperate. Yeah. We just, you know, pass that hit, pass that hit. But, uh, you know, we're just not hitting very well against each other. So that remains to be seen what we can do next weekend. When, we, when you kind of wrap up with you here in the preseason getting ready for those first games, what are your final thoughts as you exit the preseason and you start getting ready to really, you know, compete? Well, first comes to mind our seniors, uh, Sammy Perillo and Meg Miller. They are 104 and 10 in mm. our three years here. They've gone to the NCAA three years in a row, and I would love to send them one more time. Sure. Uh, the thrill of getting there. I mean, it is such a big deal. And uh, if we can do that one more time for them to make it four for four, yeah, that's the first thing that comes to my mind. Uh, and I'm, I'm really encouraged by the play of the underclassmen, the sophomores and, and the freshmen, so, which bodes well to the future. We're really thin at the top of the class, which is unlike us. We usually have three or four, sure. like we did last year. And the year before, we had three or four seniors. And we were able to fill those spots. We just have a lot of spots to fill. And we're looking for kids to step up. Well, looking forward to the season, especially those nice bunch of home games. Uh, you get to watch a lot of volleyball here at Stevenson. He's Dave Trumbo, head coach of the women's volleyball team. We'll look forward to their schedule tipping off. First home game here at, uh, at Stevenson will be September 13th in a tri-match. For Coach Trumbo, I'm Dave McHugh for Go Mustang Sports.